if I could have everybody's attention, please. Uh, at this time, we need everybody to start closing in any gaps. Um, please close in any gaps. If you have a seat next to you, it needs to be filled at this time. That way we can make sure everybody is in here and seated by the time we start graduation. Thank you.
Good evening. Good evening. If you would, please remain standing for the national anthem and remain standing for a moment of silence. Our Navy Junior ROTC will present our colors. The national anthem will be sung by our GHS chorus. If you would, at this time, please join me in a moment of silence. Thank you. If you would, everyone, please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 92nd Annual Gallatin High School Graduation Ceremony, the 49th in this building. All of us are here to recognize and honor the members of the class of 2023. This is a very special night for our honored seniors as they commemorate the accomplishment of a significant milestone in their lives so that each student can receive the recognition that he or she deserves. I respectfully ask that you not applaud, call out names, or in any way disrupt the ceremony. It's a very dignified and special program, and we want all of our students to be recognized in the same manner. So therefore, I request that everyone present in the gym be as quiet as possible. Ushers are positioned throughout the building, have been instructed to remove any persons that distract from or in any way disrupt this program. If you do plan to take individual pictures, please report to the entrance area to my, immediately, my immediate left following the presentation of the class of 2023. 
Please watch your program and do not come down too soon. Also, if you would, please use the back hallways in coming down. In addition, we do have a photographer taking pictures that will be available for your convenience. That information is on the back page of the program. Thank you very much for your cooperation as we work together to bestow recognition and honor to these most deserving seniors. If you would, at this time, please silence all cell phones. Would the senior members of the chorus please join the rest of the chorus upstairs? I would like to now introduce our distinguished guests that have joined us tonight to honor our graduating seniors. Please stand to be recognized as I call your name. Current members of the County Commission, Ms. Mary Janung. <laughs> Mr. Ben Harris. <laughs> Mr. Baker Ring. and current member of our school board, Mr. Josh Graham. Thank you to each of you being here. To introduce Gallatin's 2023 Distinguished Alumnus is Ms. Sarah Kittrell, a member of our Faculty Alumni Committee. The quote that came to mind while researching this year's honored alumnus is one of my favorites. Lily Tomlin once said, I always wondered why somebody doesn't do something about that. Then I realized I was somebody. Charles William Bone watched a documentary about an injustice and saw a wrong that he wanted to right. Through his and his colleagues' efforts, a young woman was freed from prison and the light was shown on sex trafficking of children in our state. Mr. Bone grew up in Gallatin, and those of you that did also know that you couldn't get much more Gallatin than having worked at Clark's Drugs as a teen. When he graduated from GHS, he knew his main goal was to not become a farmer. He attended Vanderbilt University, followed by UT Law School. This was a time in our country when the Vietnam War clashed with the growing awareness of civil rights. Upon suspension of college exemptions, he spent six months in active duty in the Army Reserves. After graduating, he returned to Gallatin and worked as an attorney, eventually becoming the attorney for Sumner County for more than 20 years. He then established his own successful law firm in Nashville. He and his wife, Baylor, have two children who both followed him onto their own successful law career. Throughout his life, his calling to contribute his time and talents to those in need has led him to champion many causes. He has been chair of the United Way of Sumner County, been a supporter of minority diversity in the legal profession, worked to defeat Nashville's English-only referendum. He has also held leadership roles on the Tennessee Higher Education Committee the Legal Aid Society of Middle Tennessee, the Tennessee Immigration Rights Coalition, and the American Heart Association, along with Salvis, an organization that provides quality health care for the uninsured. Even after all these accomplishments, he still felt the call to help a woman that had been victimized not only by society, but a justice system that should have protected her throughout her life. Through Mr. Bone's efforts, he was granted, through Mr. Bone's efforts, clemency was granted for Centoya Brown. And a life wasted became a life saved, a life that now tells her story of hope and faith. Graduates, families, and guests, please join me in welcoming the 2023 Gallatin High School honored alumnus, Charles William Bone.
thank you. This is uh, this is really an honor uh, for me to be here at this ceremony and to honor you all in terms of the graduates of this year for Gallatin High School. I am uh, honored as a Gallatin High School graduate. My father graduated in 1929. My mother graduated in 1939. I graduated in 1964. Are there any other grandparents here from 1964? <laughs> and, all right, and uh, I see you, Betty. And, uh, and then uh, my sister graduated in 1968. My sister and I were the first in our family after all of those years to go to college. And it was a good thing, as she said, I really, I, I made up my mind early. I wanted to get off the farm. I wanted to be a baseball player, and they said, mm, probably not. I wanted to be a singer, and they said, mm, we used to have a woman who ran the glee club, Miss Person, some of us remember, and uh, she said, Charles, you've got so many other things to do. Maybe you ought to just move on and do something do something else that you can uh, star in. So I kept going down the list of things that I thought I could do, and you know, I ended up uh, being a lawyer. So uh, I'm thankful for that, and I'm thankful for my education here. And I, of all things, now I know a lot of you all, especially you all, I'll check on the other crowd, have heard of chat GPT. So I went to chat P T T G P T. <laughs> I'm sorry, and uh, said, "Look, would you write me a speech to give to the graduating class of Gallatin High School?" And it, you know, 30 seconds later, I had a six-page speech. But I thought it was really boring and too long. So I'm going to quote two people, and then I'm going to sit down and cheer for you all and listen to your honored graduates. I'm going to quote my mother, Ma Bone, who always said, when I look like you all, she said, act as good as you look tonight. So that's the best advice that you could receive. Act as good as you look tonight. And then she had a lot of other advice that I won't go into about cleaning your plate and all that kind of stuff and, you know, picking up your room and making your bed and yada, yada, yada. But act as good as you do tonight. Then my neighbor for over 30 years, uh, neighbors were John and June Carter Cash. And uh, I've always thought that Johnny Cash spoke to the people of America about as well as anybody else could uh, anywhere, anytime. And I want to read you one verse of a song that he wrote and sang called What is Truth? What is Truth? The young girl dancing to the latest beat has found new ways to move her feet. The young man speaking in the city square is trying to tell somebody that he cares. Are you going to be leaders? They are going to be leaders in a little while. This world's waking to a newborn day. And I solemnly swear that it'll be their way. You better help the voice of youth find what is truth. Thank you so much for the invitation to be here, and congratulations. Thank you again, Mr. Bone. Our music tonight titled For Good is by our GHS chorus led by Mr. T.J. McLaughlin.
At this time, would our co-salutatorian, Ms. Madison Dawes, come forward to share her remarks. Good afternoon, my fellow classmates of 2023. I am honored to get to be one of your salutatorians and to have the opportunity to give this speech tonight. I would like to start off by acknowledging a few people who have most shaped me into the student and person I am today. I want to thank my teachers for their time and their patience with me and my many questions, and the guidance counselors and Ms. Thomas for inviting me into the little family they have built. I want to thank my grandparents for what my parents call spoiling, but I prefer to call love, and my many siblings for being my biggest fans. Finally, I want to thank my two wonderful parents who may not have always been able to help me with my homework, but have always provided me with the tools I needed to be successful. When I was 10, I dreamed of going to Vanderbilt University, which is not where I'm going, by the way. But this dream always pushed me to work very, very hard. I knew that if I was going to get into Vanderbilt, that I would have to have a perfect record, and I was convinced that colleges looked at your middle school transcripts. Needless to say, I have spent my whole life planning and working on my future. And now that the future is here, I find myself wanting to plan out the next 10 years of my life. These next 10 years, however, are much more serious than the last. And with this seriousness, we may start to feel feelings of doubt or uncertainty. I know many of us have already faced these feelings when deciding on colleges or our next steps. And while planning and having dreams isn't a bad thing at all, I fear that many of us may become consumed by the idea of what will be, that we will neglect what is right now. So as I was trying to figure out what to talk about tonight, I was reminded of a quote from our childhood. It's a quote from the wisest turtle I know, the one and only Grandmaster Ugwe. Now in this scene in Kung Fu Panda, Poe is stressing about becoming the dragon warrior. He looks back on his life and thinks there is no way he can become something so great in the future. And he decides he might as well go back to selling noodles. But then Master Ugwe reminds him, yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, and today is a gift. That is why it's called the present. This quote may seem silly, but I have found it holds a great impact. Let's start with yesterday is history. We have spent the last 13 years preparing for this moment. 13 years of field days, birthday celebrations, football games, and school dances. 13 years of making new friends and holding on tightly to the ones we have known forever. We have made a million memories that should remind us of where we started, but we must not live our lives looking back on these memories because real life might pass us by. The love we have experienced here will carry us into the next chapter of our lives as we discover who we want to be. And even though we are sad this chapter is ending, a new, exciting chapter is only a page away. Tomorrow is a mystery. Our lives are about to drastically change, but no matter where we end up in life, our foundation is here at Gallatin High School. We may not know what tomorrow will hold, but hopefully we all feel confident in our ability to tackle any obstacle we encounter. Each and every one of us has a potential to go out and do whatever we set our minds to. If we dream big, work hard, and exceed expectations, I have no doubt we will make our community of Gallatin very proud. Although our next steps are going to be much more difficult, they are also going to be filled with wonderful adventures. However, if you only look at what you have to do that week, month, or year, you may miss out on the spontaneous moments that make life so much more cherishable. Today is a gift. Every morning we wake up is a blessing. Every day is a new start and a new opportunity to experience something great. It is something that you, oh, it is important that you don't wish time away because it already goes by so quickly. I mean, I remember when I thought the year 2023 wasn't even a real year because it seemed so far away. But here it is. We should live every day like there is no tomorrow because tomorrow is what causes us to live smaller. So I urge you to take advantage of every moment. Let everything around you truly sink in especially right now. This might be the last time you see the people you are sitting next to, and it might be the last time that you are sitting in this gym. So let this teach you to be intentional with every single day you have and to not waste a second of it. 
Thank you, GHS, for giving me my best friends and my most valuable lessons. And thank you, class of 2023, for making these past four years as great as they can be. At this time, would co-salutatorian Ms. Catherine Wims come forward? Choices. We make them every day, all day. Our life sum is simply a culmination of our thousands of choices. But even though we make so many, each one is still important. In fact, our choices are possibly our greatest gifts. Consider a river. Over millions of years, the water flowing through a river erodes the surrounding rocks and dirt. Ultimately, changing the river's course. In life, you are the river. Your choices, your will, your work, and your effort are the water. They are what will sway the current of your life. As you make life's choices, envision your future. Consider what you perceive as success and ensure that your decisions guide your river in that direction. Consider others. Your choices and actions first and foremost affect you, but they also influence others. So make sure that they promote goodwill and don't flood the bridges you may need to cross in the future. Lastly, think it through. Making rash and hasty decisions can often cause turmoil in our futures. So diligently consider your options before jumping in. Make sure your choices won't cause unexpected rapids in your life's river. The waters are rough enough already. At the same time, don't be fearful of making important decisions. Single choices alone will not completely alter our life's course. Instead, we make millions of micro choices that forge us onto our path. So when we inevitably make mistakes, it will be okay. Sometimes water flows out of the main channel and into a stream. Though its journey may be less direct, it will eventually find its way back to stronger currents, picking up a few pebbles of wisdom that we will use downstream. Today, you chose what to wear, what to eat, and whether or not to fasten your seatbelt. In the past, you have chosen to study, to show up, and to participate. In the future, Class of 2023, you will have many more choices to make. You will choose your careers, where to live, and who to build friendships with. You will choose how to deal with conflict, how to deal with success, and how to deal with failure. You hold the power to shape your life through the decisions you make. Your choices are the driving force behind life's river. As students at Gallatin High School, we have all been flowing down the same river on a green wave. Now, it's time for us to take our education, which will be our life jacket, hop off the wave, choose our own direction, and begin our journey towards the ocean. So, as you move forward in your future, whether here in Gallatin or 10,000 miles away, make good choices. Make kind choices. Make bold choices. Make choices that will make the green wave proud. And may those choices shape your life's river in beautiful ways. Thank you. At this time, would our 2023 class valedictorian, Ms. Sophia Say, come forward?
Welcome friends, family, faculty, staff, and of course, class of 2023. I would like to start off by saying a few thank yous. Thank you to our families who raised us and supported us through the good and the bad. Thank you to our teachers who cared for us as their own, gave us knowledge, and saw the best in us. Finally, thank you to my classmates who helped me become who I am today. As I was thinking about what to write for this speech, a Taylor Swift lyric popped into my head that seemed to sum up this day. It was the end of a decade, but the start of an age. It is the end of a decade for us. Our time at Gallatin High School has come to an end. We have moved from elementary school where teach us, teachers walk us down the hallways to related arts class to middle school where we experienced our first taste of freedom by walking to our next class on our own. As we entered high school, we got even more freedom and we had to maneuver ourselves up and down stairs and find our classes in a web of hallways. During our time as a green wave, we have found our footing, made mistakes, learned from the mistakes, hopefully, and created so many memories. We have laughed together, cried together, and just grown up together. We have cheered for our sports teams, attended ride-ins and pep rallies. We have also sang karaoke during lunch, danced to We Are Young at prom, somehow survived our classes, and had fun dressing up as our favorite celebrity for homecoming. Every day we hear it's a great day to be a green wave and chant green gold during pep rallies. Our high school experience has also been a very unique one. Just as we figured out how to do high school our freshman year, COVID shut down our high school community and our world. We found ourselves far away from friends at a time when all we wanted to do is be with our friends. Our sophomore year, we had to find a way to adapt to hybrid, then back to regular school, hybrid again, back to regular school, and quarantine for some of us here and there. We were thankful that our junior year allowed us to return to a sense of normalcy even though we were met with restrictions and limitations for various events and activities. As we entered senior year, we finally were able to return to normal and for the first time got to experience a traditional high school year. It made us appreciate all that we were able to do this year. It is truly, as Taylor Swift says, an into a decade, but it is also a start of an age. After tonight, we are just starting our lives. Instead of maneuvering the hallways of GHS, we will be maneuvering a new path in life. One challenge that I, along with many of my friends, have been trying to figure out this year is what we want to be when we grow up. This question has been asked to us for most of our lives. We have done career projects and attended career fairs, taken quizzes, and so now, the time comes where this question must be answered. There are many different careers that people choose to pursue. Some may join the military, become teachers, business owners, or even doctors. And although this question is very important, I think there is an even more important question to ask, and that is, what type of person do we want to be? As I reflect on this question, I think of my teachers, coaches, and principals who have gotten me here to this moment. They, along with my family, have provided me with great role mo models and examples of who I want to be when I grow up. I challenge our class to go out into the world and try and make it a better place, to be kind, to be willing to put others first, and to remember success is not measured by how much money you make but by the impact you have on other people. I am so thankful for our time together here at Gallatin High School. I know that it has prepared us for this moment, for the start of this age. Although after tonight, we will each go on our own ways and become our own people, let's never forget who we are or where we came from. Never forget Green Wave Pride. Thank you, ladies.
It's that time of year again. The weather is warm, cookouts and lake days are beginning, and I can hear the rustle of programs as you want me to get this speech over with. Don't worry, I'll be brief. But I want to take this opportunity to pass along a few last words of advice to our graduates. First off, I want you to remember what you have endured. What should have been an exciting time as you wrapped up your freshman year was cut short as the country entered an era never seen before, and one, hopefully, that we'll never see again. There was unprecedented fear, the advent of the virtual classrooms, and controversies over masks and vaccines, just to name a few. To say the least, your high school career got off to a rocky start. But the very fact that you're sitting here tonight shows that you have grit and determination to get things done. You will need that same stalwart spirit as you face the unknown that awaits you outside these doors. No matter whether you've chosen college, technical school, the workforce, or enlisting in the military, now it's a whole different ball game. For some, that's a good thing. You need a do-over. They won't know about your attendance record or the number of times you had to visit an assistant principal's office. For others, that might not be so good. You were the ones with the perfect GPA and a long resume of accomplishments. But here's the wake-up call. Good or bad, no one cares. You will have to set out to prove yourself all over again. But I'm here to tell you that that's okay. The fact that you're sitting here tonight shows that you can do it. You just need to remember a couple of things. First, hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. You can have all the potential in the world, but if you don't put it to use, then it will not matter. You can either be like the football player with a full ride to a D1 school that ends up getting kicked off the team because he flunks out. Or you can be the player who joins the team as a walk-on and then works so hard that he earns a scholarship and ultimately graduates. Which player do you think has been most successful? Which one would you want to work for you later in life? Obviously, it's the walk-on. And, and it's like that in life. Hard work will get you noticed and rewarded, even if it takes a little longer. Secondly, Live with integrity. Integrity is all about character. It is what you do when no one is looking. You will face many choices in life. Some will be black and white. Some will be in the gray zone. But there is almost always one way that's the better choice. And you will know it in your heart. Even if you do end up making a questionable decision and no one else finds out, you will know it. What kind of person do you want to be? Only you can answer that question. Finally, live a life worth, uh, worthy of the calling you have received. We were all created for something special. This is summed up best by Eric Liddell, a Scottish sprinter and rugby player known as the Flying Scotsman. He stated that, quote, I believe God made me for a purpose, but he also made me fast. And when I run, I feel his pleasure, end quote. My friends, that is your duty as you leave here. Find your calling and pursue it. After all, your career is what you're paid for, but your calling is what you're made for. Only when you discover your calling will you be truly fulfilled. Don't sell yourself short. All right, now you've heard my final words of wisdom in your high school career has come to a close. You've completed your degree and you're ready to move on. I want you to know that I'm proud of you. We are all proud of you. I, you have earned the G and I charge you to carry on the rich tradition of Green Wave pride. I wish you well in your future endeavors. Congratulations, class of 2023. All seniors, please stand. I now present to you the class of 2023.
Uh, you've got more than that. Let's go. They deserve it. Seniors, remain standing, all others, please be seated. By the authority, by the authority vested in me by the state and local board of education, I have searched or caused to be searched the records of each of these seniors whose names shall be publicly announced. I certify that each of these students has met or exceeded the minimum requirements and is eligible to receive a regular diploma, an occupational diploma, an alternate academic diploma, or a diploma of specialized education. Again, ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present to you the class of 2023. Let's give them one more round of applause. seniors be seated except the first row. Miss Julia Coots will assist me while Miss Jennifer Allen announces each graduate's name. Again, at this time, please do not yell, whistle, or applaud when your graduate's name is called so that all graduates' names may be heard, honored, and recognized equally. Noah Jean Abbott. Christopher Augustine Romero. Chloe McKenna Allen. Isaac Allen. Zoe Christiana Allen. Adriana Inez Alvarado. Dilver Antonio Amaya Martinez. Daniela Carolina Aparicio. Jonah Luke Ashman. Labrandiana Nicole Bailey. Melissa Basaul Fernandez. Jacqueline Batres. Isaiah LaShawn Bell. Desiree Shante Bigham. Destiny Chantel Bigham. Robert Paul Michael Boyce. Haley Jean Bolenberg. Aaliyah Renee Boone. Mackenzie Taylor Bozzelli. Keeley Bradford. Carson Lee Bradley. Raina Britton Bradley. 
Victoria Anaya Danielle Branham. Dylan Keith Brantley. Brian Armando Bravo. Haley Gail Bright. Daniel Briones Sameo. Michael Rayshawn Britton. Aiden Elizabeth Brock. Seth Brooks. Asher Matthias Brown. Hope Addison Brown. Logan Montana Brownlee Smith. Garrett Christopher Bruce. Austin Michael Brummett. Isaiah Joshua Bryant. Haley Catherine Bull. Diaria Lonise Birch. Catherine Lee Burgett. Jasper Philip Burt. Kiesia Nicole Burton Davidson. Brian Butler. Chamar Kimont Butler Jr. Shannon Lewis Cagle II. Guy L. Campbell. Itzel Sinai Campos. Precious Lakai Campos. Tamaya Marche Carey. Shalifi Kilov Carter. JC Page Carver. Joshua Casas. McKenna Page Castile. Ricardo Cedillo Cuevas. Natalia Sofia Cervantes de Somis. Hannah Rose Chaco. Elijah Odell Cherry. Isabel Willow Choate. Genesis Lanise Clark. Julia Shanice Cole. Kate Del Rocio Contreras. Jameson Thomas Conyer. Cameron Trey Cook. Luke Austin Cook. Bryant Connor Copeland. Brock Christopher Corder. Marvin Martin Corona. Madison Ray Cox. Jason Owen Crawford. Michaela Charnay Crenshaw. Mason Alexander Crowell. Drayden Renee Cruz. Kayla Madison Dalton. Alonzo Davis Jr. Brianna Leilani Davis. Savannah Rose Davis. Sophia Isabel Davis. Alyssa Peyton Dawes. Madison Elaine Dawes. Abriana Joy Deaton. Lillian Grace DeGlopper. Ernessa DeLovsi. Alicia Nicole Denning. Aliyah Tamika Dennis. Callan Joseph Desposito. Brandon Joseph Dixon. 
Faith Michelle Doney. Charisma Lachey Douglas. Shakoria Nicole Dowell. Bryson Wayne Driver. Amarius Rashad Dunn. Arnold Wayne Durham. Aiden Tyler Dyer. Drew Anna Dyer. Yakira Lachey Ellis. Anna Neil Estes. Jonathan Peyton Fenn. Karime Isabella Fernandez. Anessa Flores. Loreto Flores. Matthew Aaron Flores. Emma Lee Floyd. Ethan Lee Floyd. Dylan Jason Freeman. Kaylin Delaney Fuquay. Hannah Leanne Gaines. John Christian Ganaway. Maria Guadalupe Garcia Aldevera. Loretta Gomez. Melanie Gonzalez. Kevin Gonzalez Perez. Charlie Ahostery Granados. Kaylee Cassidy Gray. Sabrina Nicole Green. Kaylor Stewart Gregory. Macrina Gregory. Hayden Gabriel Damon Grimmett. Karen Sumaya Guerrero. Yandy Hobiel Gutierrez Zamaripa. Takaya Rochelle Halcom. Margaret Elizabeth Hale. Miles Cannon Hale. Anthony Thomas Hall. Jalen Marie Hall. Logan Alexander Hall. Ratavia Tene Hall. Sierra Rain Hall. Jeremiah Micah Harper. Noah Randall Hawkins. Trinity Lexis Hawkins. Lunaya Kishari Head. Shamara Latrell Head. Allison Marie Hernandez. Marcos Antonio Hernandez Lopez. Kayla Naomi Herrera Funes. Nicholas Ryan Heron. Lamarias Holder. Kylie Mackenzie Holland. Charday Natavia Hollerman. Faith Danielle Hopgood. Destiny Aaliyah Horton. Gabrielle Eve Howell.
Jaden Daniel Huff. Alyssa May Huggins. Zachary Ray Jackson. Demarion Tizel James. Tatiana Janelle Jonikins Acosta. Jaderica Shawan Johnson. Cameron Kale Johnson. Landon Octavian Johnson. Micaiah Tache Johnson. Tyler Xavier Johnson. Dustin Lee Jones. James Ray Jones. Samiria Nache Jones. Juan Pablo Juan Diego Casas. Maya Brooke Kelsey. Morgan Lee Kennedy. Markel Latrell Keys. Calvin Henry Atticus Kimmel. Sarah Taylor Kaiser. Kenya James Knight, David Matthew Kruger, Ninyel Kui, Nyawargat Queth, Luke Lewis Landy, Aspen Dell Lassiter. George Leonardo Blanco. David Nicholas Lane Lessman. Camden Wallace Levesque. Timothy Alexandria Lewis. Ulisa Leva. Angie Mariana Leva and Chepa. Jordan Ruth Lockow. Ethan Aiden Lomax. Nayeli Lopez Camarena. Isabel Lopez Munoz. Jose Alexander Lopez Raimundo. Angeli Elise Lugo Derrick. Blair Cadence Lumpkins. Yasmin Yamis Malone. Jose Maria Marroquin Ancheta. Kelly Gabriela Martin Gonzalez. Victoria Elizabeth Martinez. Braley Melania Martinez Lobo. Lara Faye Mascarinas. Mackenzie Morgan McCart. Haley Brooke McClanahan. Madeline Faith Ann McLeod. Lauren Abigail McDermott. Hannah Elizabeth McDowell. Moriah Cheyenne McDowell. Dylan Endry Medina Moni. Josian Melkor Diaz. Leah Giselle Melgar. Riley Elizabeth Mocross. Emily Montez Martinez. Lexi Taylor Moore. Megan Grace Morris. Zakaria Montoya Lachey Morris. Shannon Cheyenne Mosley. Unity Grace Murphy. Keyshawn Lorenzo Nelson. Latoria Shatina Nelson. Jaron Christopher Nevels. 
Jesus Alejandro Nieto, Hunter Davis Oaks, William Bradley Oldham, Cameron Deshay Pack, Catherine Lynn Page, Samuel Wilson Parks the Fourth, Hemi Nitaben Patel, Tulsi Patel, Wade Gossett Payne, Eddie Nelson Paz Aguilar, Gisela Lisbeth Paz Aguilar, Mackenzie Jackson Pagiz, Carolina Pena Gutierrez, Delana Lyric Pennington, Erwin Garcia Perez, Isabella Francis Peterson, Lillian Myra Dean Pinkerton, Jahir Roberto Poblano Valencia, Christopher Liddell Parter, Erica Emily Pronti, Carson McLean Prophet, Madison Jolie Pruitt, Deshaun Marcel Pruitt, Veronica Renee Quiros, Christopher Shafiq Ramirez, Kaylee Michelle Regalado, Benicio Rico, Calista Jolyn Rich, Robert Lucas Richardson, Sanai Amani Joy Ricks, Jenna Claire Riggins, Jordan Ethan Roberson. Samantha Renee Roberson, Jada Elise Roberts, Blake Christian Robinson, Dawson Pierce Robinson, Natalie Eileen Roberto, Alejandro Rodriguez, Jasmine Daniela Rodriguez. Yakiria Tane Rogers. Marco Antonio Roman Osnar. Amy Andrina Romero. Giovanni Danilo Rosales. Dakari Darnell Russell. Tyler Paul Russell. Maggie Marie Sadler. Carol Salgado. Colin Edward Samples. Jared Sanchez. Victor Damian Sanchez. Sophia Drury Say, Joslyn Jonasia Sharkley, Savannah Jane Schumacher, Journey Reagan Scott, Macy Lynn Scott, Andrew Julian Saferl. Jacob Denver Silva, James Maverick Simmons, Ainsley Paulina Sloan, Logan Rain Smallwood, Alexandria Nicole Smith, Kai Wesley Smith, Ryan Douglas Smith, Austin Ryan Snyder, 
Crispel Gabriela Solis Ramirez. Thomas Mejia Som. Ashley Nicole Springs. Brianna Paige Stacy. Jacob Reese Stanberry. Bryce Matthew Stanfill. Kaylee Danielle Stewart. Madeline Kate Stiles. Robert Summers. Luke Matthew Tabor. Christian Isaiah Tarkington. Michael Dwayne Taylor. Andrew Selden Thomas. Akori Imani Thompson. Jacob Robert Thompson. Jalandon Michael Thompson. Trevor Michael Thompson. Ava Marie Thurman. Rebecca Anna Tiboka. Sydney Faith Todd. Hannah Lynn Tomlinson. Gina Edith Torres. Isaac Torres Flores. Oscar Matthew Torres Padron. Lee Turk. Jemiah Sherelle Turner. Madison Jantasia Turner. Madison Grace Tuttle. Jonathan Lewis Van Ness. Katie Darlene Van Zant. Maria Magdalena Velasco. Mitchell D. Victor. Miguel Alberto Vielma Jr. Rubens Vilbon Brentise. Bella Maite Villamar Malvez. Alan Alanis. Yahana Via Senor Carrillo. Spencer Ray Wakefield. Wall Bull Wall. Taylor Austin Walker. Austin Ray Warwick. Grant Parson Weeks. William Howard Webb. Javon Antoine Dewan Wheeler. Caden Rianne White. Carter Neal Whitefield. Adnaya Quiche Wilkes. Genesia DeMarcache Williams. Liberty Lopez Williams. Michaela Isabel Williams. Zakaya Chloe Williams Rollins. Nehemiah Christopher Wilmore. Jernaya Nicole Wilson. Logan Nathaniel Wilson. Tristan Lake Wilson. Catherine Marie Wims. Monisha Nakira Woods. Emily Ashlyn Wright. Genesia Chardet 
Wright. Gabriel Nolan Young. Kate Lane Zwart. If you would, a round of applause. Seniors, seniors, please stand. Seniors, as an outward symbol of the high school diploma, which you have received signifying your graduation from Gallatin High School, I now ask that you move your tassel with your right hand from right to left. If everyone would remain standing, please join us for the singing of our alma mater by our GHS chorus. At the conclusion of the alma mater, if you would please remain standing for the recessional. Stay standing for the recessional following the alma mater, please.